The United Nations says almost everyone on an overcrowded ship carrying about 600 African migrants to Europe is believed to have died when the vessel broke apart within sight of the Libyan capital, Tripoli. Aid agencies are now appealing to both NATO and the European Union to make an immediate intervention. Su Yuting has more details. Fleeing conflict in Libya has become almost as dangerous as staying behind to fight. Hundreds of desperate migrants have drowned after their vessel went down off the coast of Tripoli on Friday. This comes after at least 800 migrants fleeing Libya had already been lost at sea in three boat sinkings. In late March, one migrant ship had been left adrift for weeks, ignored by military aircraft. It said that NATO has not given any response after people on board called for help. The UN High Commissioner for Refugees has questioned whether Europe is doing enough to help. It's possible uh, that uh, you, know, you have a, a boat for two weeks adrift without uh, any kind of intervention. In a moment when we know that there are so many activities going on, this uh, you know, sounds really uh, difficult, uh, sounds really difficult to accept. But NATO has denied that its units were involved in the incident. Ships under NATO command will always respond to calls from ships in distress. This is their duty under the law of the sea and to suggest that our ship's captains would do otherwise is unfair and is disrespectful. The UN has also accused the Libyan government of complicity in these deadly smuggling incidents. The number of people rushing to land on the tiny Italian island of Lampedusa is still increasing. It may be the price European nations pay for their military and political operations in Libya. Su Yuting, CCTV.